some of the basics of T-Script using Super Mario Bros. X38A. I will be using version 1.4.4 because I prefer that over the latest version 1.4.5. Also, this does not apply to version 2.0 as that version has a completely different scripting language called Lua and I will not get into that. Also, please note that I'm not an expert, so if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, if you don't know how to create a script, all you have to go all you have to do is go to view and then click on scripts. From there, you should see this window here. Click add to create a script and you can rename it. You can name it like whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it new script just for um, this example. Um, to the right of the script list is the workspace that you'll type in your code here. In this tutorial, I'll be going over system variables since those are already built into the game and they are the easiest to work with. So let's say that you don't want Mario to be able to spin jump in your level. And in default, he is able to spin jump, but what if you want to disable that? Um, ability. What if you don't want Mario to spin, be able to spin jump? So what you want to type in is sysval and a parentheses. Um, there is a whole list of um, commands here or system variables, but but I'm not going to use that list. I'm going to make my own one. Disable spin jump. equals one now variables cannot have spaces so you can have a space over here or you can have spaces over here but you cannot space out the variable because um, it'll just read these as different words um, and variables have to be only like one word they cannot be spaced out so what this basically means is that the sysval command returns the value of the system variable, which is the disable spin jump. And the value is the one here. And if this statement is true, you would put a one. If this statement was false, you would put a zero. So that's basically an introduction to how scripts work. And I will show you right now. So in order to um in order for the script to work, you want to go to view and then this time go to events um, you want to go to others and then you want to see where it says script um, you want to select new script or whatever you named your script that um, you're using if you want and make sure level start make sure this um, event here level start is selected if only if you want the entire level to use the script so um, it's pretty hard to prove since I, um, with screen recording you can't like it doesn't show your keyboard or anything so you can't see what keys I'm pressing on the keyboard while I'm screen recording but I can try to show you right now that Mario is not able to spin jump he can do other things he can jump but he is not able to spin jump so let's use another example let's go back to scripts and there's this file disable spin jump because one let's use let's do another one so let's tr let's do a sys file and then let's see let's see coin count um and then and in this time since it's counting how many coins you have you can type in whatever number you want so I'm gonna just type in 50 for for this example here and by the way you can't have multiple sysfile commands at once so um, but so yeah let's test it out see now Mario has 50 coins when he starts the level so I'm sorry this was a little bit boring. It can um this is like the easiest thing to do um really for scripting. Um next time I will be going over if statements 
Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helped. I will have many other, um, I will have many other uh, system variables that you can use that aren't included in this list here. But you could put, again, you could put as many system variables as you want. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And again, I'm not an expert, so if, just please let me know if I did something wrong or if I said something wrong. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.